Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to learn how to set up MCP servers on Claude. These servers let Claude connect directly to things like your local files, browser tabs, or even custom APIs. Before we jump into the tutorial, let's quickly understand what an MCP server is and how it actually works behind the scenes. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's a way to let Claude securely connect to data outside the chat, like your files, browser, or APIs. Each MCP server is like a mini tool that talks to Claude in real time. So instead of pasting content manually, you can just connect an MCP server, and Claude can read and work with your data directly. First, we need to install Node.js. Head over to nodejs.org and download the latest version for your system. Open the file, agree to the terms, and start installing Node.js on your Mac. Once installed, open your terminal and run. No dash dash version. If you see a version number, that means Node.js is installed and you're good to go. Next, download the Claude desktop app, which is required to connect any MCP server. Visit Claude.ai and download the Claude desktop app for Mac. Install the app, open it, and sign in with your Claude account. Once you've successfully installed the Claude desktop app, it's time to choose your MCP server. Claude supports different types of MCP servers. Each one connects to a specific source like your local files, browser, or custom apps. In this tutorial, I'll be using a simple file system MCP server. It lets Claude read and interact with files from a folder on your Mac. The setup process is similar for other servers too. Each one has its own configuration guide, which you'll find on the official Claude MCP GitHub page. Just follow the steps listed there, and you'll be able to connect any MCP server directly to Claude. Now open the Claude Desktop app under Developer Op. Now open the Claude Desktop app under Developer Options. Click on Edit Config. This will open the Claude Desktop config.json file. Go ahead and remove the existing code and paste in your custom MCP server configuration. In this example, the file path is set to access the desktop folder, but you can change this path to any folder on your Mac that you want Claude to access. Once done, save the file, close the Claude Desktop app completely, and reopen it. And that's it. Now you know how to set up MCP servers on Claude and connect them to things like your local files, Slack, weather, and more. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below if you want tutorials on other Claude features or specific MCP setups.